Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Guys, I'd like to talk about this case here because I think this is this is one of those deals that every so often when it comes around, I think everybody throws in their two cents worth. And, and rightly so, because it, it is a topic of note. And right now it is trending. I was listening, not listening, forgive me. I misspoke. I was reading a comment earlier today on my feed, and I want to highlight this comment because it really speaks of the ignorance of some of our people. Some of you, you may not know it, but, but you are dumber than a box of hammers. This young man said to me, Mr. Mwewa, you seem to know everything. You are a Mr. Know it all. Every topic you mention. Every topic you 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 say something. Let me break it down for you, okay? I only talk about things that I'm passionate about. Number one, I only discuss things that I have knowledge about. Number two, and number three, this, my brothers and sisters, is my platform. This here is my domain. So you know what that means. It means I can talk about anything I want to within reason. And I am well within my jurisdiction to do so. So far be it from you to jump on my page and start saying things like, Mr. Where are you? I know it all. Why can't you just keep quiet? Well, why don't you keep quiet? Why don't you run along to your page and keep quiet over there stand in the corner somewhere and keep your mouth shut but over here at sml tv oh no sir we open our mouths we talk we do all right here it is many of you know bamun bipiri has is out Okay, that's the word we're going to use, you know, so that we, we, we stick and, and, and sit within the circumference of the legal jargon. Okay, she is out of prison. She's out of custody. Now, let's discuss Ramon Bipiri's nole prosequi. That's how you say that word, nole prosequi. And for those of you that do not know what that means, here, let me break it down for you because I think it's important. People love to know what they're talking about. There is nothing worse than looking at a word and you have no idea. You don't have the faintest, foggiest idea what the word means. People throw it around. And what I've discovered is that people are embarrassed to ask, well, what does this mean? My father used to say, if you don't understand something, ask. Just ask. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. So here, here it is. A nolle prosequi is when the prosecution, in this case, formally declares that it will no longer take the matter further. It sets it aside. It sets the matter aside. Nolle prosequi. That's how you say that word. Now, let me bring you up to speed. Let me update some of you who may have been lost in the woods. Some of you who may not know what we're talking about. There's many of you that do not have your finger on the proverbial pulse. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to help you. I'm here to clear the air. I'm here to make it clear to you just exactly what we're talking about. Let's break it down. Many of you know that about Mumbi Piri, was accused of murdering a UPND supporter by the name of Lawrence Banda during the council chairperson by-election in Kaoma district in 2019. You remember that case. Now, the thing that incriminated Ramumbi Piri, and see, let me take a moment here and pause and say that I think sometimes when we are intoxicated 
Uh, we have the veil of the presidency over our heads. There's a sense of invincibility. You know, when you're in power, you feel that you can say anything you want and you think that you can get away with it. But but when hands and, 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 and the seats and the range of power change, you realize very quickly that the same words you spoke under the umbrella of, of, of your reign or your tenure, those same words will come back to haunt you. So here it is. Bamumbi Piri, who happens to be a relative of mine, let me just declare that disclaimer. Uh, Bamumbi Piri is related to me. Okay, so I'm not here to bash her. I'm just here to explain what happened and to give you uh, my opinion of, of what happened. You remember, Bamumbi Piri said, I, me, I was there. This was in reference to the incident that led up to Lawrence Banda's uh, murder, subsequent murder. Now, let me explain something to you. Whenever you say words like this and the police are listening, you all of a sudden become a person of interest. That's just the way it works. Okay, there are no if ands, buts about it. That's just the way that it is. The police begin to look at you as a potential suspect or possibly an accessory to murder. So these were the words that incriminated by Mumbi Piri. When she said them, now I know when she said them, she was making a flippant remark, meaning she was just talking. Uh, she may have been aware that the cameras were on. I'm sure she was. But when she spoke those words, you have to keep in mind that this was during the time that the, the NPF, the notorious patriotic front, were in power. This was when uh, former President Lungu was actually the president of, of the Republic of Zambia. This was when the NPF were riding high on the saddle. This was when the NPF thought that they were the be-all and end-all. This was when the NPF were standing on the highest mountaintops and declaring that the, the sun would never set on their empire. The NPF. And so whenever she made the statement, this was back in, you know, it was during that time when, when the, P, the NPF were in power. So she didn't think much of it. Until things change, until the, 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 the tables turned, and then she became a person of note. A and there's a lesson here. There's a lesson here that we, and of course, this is a lesson that all of us must learn, myself included. I've been there. I've been there where you say something out of turn, and, and then you, you pay the price for it. Now, let me explain what happens when the police come to see you, especially when it has to do anything that is, 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 is extremely grave. You know the word grave? Grave, something serious, like murder. You know, when the police come to see you, anything to do with murder, and they begin to question you, and in their minds, you are a person of interest. Guess what the police say to you? The police say, imagine a bucket, a heavy bucket on your head. Because, of, because you have incriminated yourself. Because you have said, you've used words. You've spoken words that have incriminated you by saying, no, me, I was there. Oh, so you were there, which means you saw what happened. Which means you have vital information that can lead us to like the Kira or law, uh, someone associated with the Kira. You can give us the information we are looking for. So the police tell you, Mama, imagine a bucket, a heavy bucket on your head. Because of these incriminating words you spoke, the bucket is on your head now. So what you do, in order to absorb yourself, 
and to minus yourself from this bucket in order for you to remove it and give it to someone else give us the information we need it is either you were a part of this thing or you know who did it therefore we are going to detain you until we get to the bottom of this issue we arrive at a conclusive conclusion <laughs> i'm not laughing it's not funny my point is the police become interested in you and, and, and so you know she bamumbipiri has been through this thing and, and and it's i would imagine it's it's not it, it, anybody that's been to jail i've been to jail you know they came to get me here i said something about tasila lungu she sued me for defamation boy sued me for defamation and the police came here to pick me up they said mr Mwewa, oh, you need to come with us and you know how many know that when the police come to get you there is no room for negotiation there is no reprieve there is no there's nothing like a drawback you, you simply comply and and the officer took me to the jailhouse you know and and the the officer that was at the jailhouse i've shared this story with you before but let me share it with you and the only reason i'm sharing it with you is to demonstrate to you that every one of us are a whisper away from being locked up it happens to everybody it doesn't matter especially muzambia in zambia as long as you you talk as long as you are vocal as long as he, you breathe just to remove those shoes we've all been there but in this case here it really drives the point home that we must be doubly careful myself included we must be doubly careful about the things we say and the way we say them because honey when 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 the house comes crashing down you stand there alone you stand there by yourself and, and this is what i find interesting about facebook warriors you know it's very easy to, to sit in front of a microphone and a camera and say all manner of things and, and and your your supporters and your your followers they encourage you we all go through that no you're telling the truth no it's you only you are enlightened tell them and they don't you all those chaps on facebook who tell you speak it tell them they are nowhere to be seen Buana. it's just you god and that cell and they when they march you to your cell and those bars slam home that's when you know it's for real whole life blown away in a blink of an eye nothing left but all the time in the world to think about it that's how it is so let's be careful how we speak let's measure ourselves okay that's all i wanted to say i saw her hold mr lovinda and she looks very old well prison does that to you prison prison ages you it does and, and let me make a point here because i said it earlier today and i'll say it again the notorious patriotic front basically abandoned vamumbi piri they did and the only reason they're gathered around now like vultures like the jackals that they are is for them to get some type of political mileage from all of this mess that's the only reason they offer their their solidarity to Amundi Piri that's the only reason but the whole time that she was laying in that jail cell 
very seldom would the NPF go and see her. That's just the truth. Now, I know you don't like to hear that, but that's the truth. Here it is now, all these NPF vultures and vagabonds, parasites, leeches, and bottom feeders, all of a sudden circling around because they're trying to get a piece of that political pie. Bunch of crooks. Now you run and you tell them I said that. <laughs> all right. Well, hey guys, that's what I wanted to share with you. It's almost news. Katambe ni news. If na ina na kuganda, ina na rafuma muno na raya kuganda. Let me order a yango. Kabi ifu tuwomfia yango. That's what we use. So let me just call them so that they they are here in a jiffy. Fida walanda ku America. They are here in a jiffy. Wangu wangu bafika bafika. They have arrived. Okay. All right. Uh, somebody says, I wish you could give a two sided perspective. You are justifying her incarceration. Well, I'm giving you my opinion as I see it. Now, of course, if there's anything in my dissertation that displeases you in any way, Honey, you are welcome to open your own page and then give us your opinion, your two-sided opinion. But in the meantime, you're just going to have to sit there and contend with me. Okay. All right, guys, I got to go. I got to go. It's almost, it's almost 19 hours. You see there? It's six minutes to, to 19 hours. I got to go. Got to go. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves and each other. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.